Hi, this is Poor Boy. Um, yeah, I just decided to uh, put an ambidextrous safety lever in this AR. And then I started thinking, well, uh, the, uh, the safety didn't want to come out. So I pulled the trigger and hammer. And um, I started thinking at that point, I think I might have an enhanced trigger and hammer. Uh, probably a Palmetto State Armory $30 job, nickel, nickel plated. So, I think I'll change those out too. If I actually find it, I'll tra change them out and, uh, and probably take that scope off, that Vortex Strike Eagle that didn't, doesn't work right, send that back. And put on the Vortex uh, Spark AR. Alright. Let's get to it. Okay. I just popped the, uh, the Palmetto State Armory trigger and disconnector in there. Like I said, that's the... Uh, God... I'm sorry about this lighting. This is how I work. And sitting in chairs and stuff. I don't know if you're going to see it. That's um, that's the nickel plated. And this is a standard black one. Jeez. Uh, you can see it a little bit. All right, I got to put the hammer in. Okay, now I just put the hammer in. That again is a uh, um, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, that's a nickel plated. Okay, so for a smoother, non-gritty trigger pull. Um, I got a... Jeez, I forgot what brand this is. The safety is... Uh, is um, I could set it for 90 or 45 degree. And it's ambidextrous. So, let me find the other part of it. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to set that with the shorter side on the uh, right-hand side of the gun at 45 degree. Okay, so what I don't like about this is it's a special Allen wrench. Let me finish tightening her up there. Yeah, it's, it's a special one, so if you're out in the field or something, um, you know, that's, that's the part I don't like a lot. Alrighty. Alright, so that was quick and easy. We got the hammer in there. We got the 45 select lever, 45 degree. We got the uh, trigger. All right, let me put the grip on. Did I say grip? I meant spur. This is New York State, so let me tighten that spur up, and uh, that's why we got the uh, trigger. That's why we got the trigger guard with the finger groove to help you have more control holding the gun. Tighten her down. Okay, so that's on.
to 45. All right. Okay, let's get rid of that vortex. Go send it back to vortex and see if we can get that fixed or replaced. Okay. Let's get these screws out of there. Get this whole freaking mount off. We'll put a red dot on. I guess we'll go with the uh, Spark AR. We'll go back to what was on it. It's a decent red dot. Close range. I could put the sights back on. That would be huge. Okay. Okay. We'll put this uh, the Vortex Spark AR back on the gun. All right, scope's off. Let's put the red dot on. Yeah, we'll tighten this up. Here we go. I think we're set. All right, so we just put a nice uh, ambidextrous 45 degree select lever on it in this gun. Uh, nickel plated Palmetto State Armory trigger and hammer brings it down from uh, you know maybe six to eight pounds down to about five five and a half. And the Vortex Spark AR red dot two minute of angle red dot. I think that's it for this for now. We'll throw on the uh, Magpul backup sights later, after I eat. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be it for right now. So don't forget to uh, join us, subscribe to uh, Poor Boy YouTube. We got Poor Boy Weapons and Poor Boy AR on Facebook. Poor Boy, over and out. God bless.